き、き、帰宅部Why does she look familiar? She looks very familiar. Hello, my name is Sabi. Oh, she's、uh, one of the Pokemon Gym、uh, leader's ancestor. Her hair. Nice to meet you, Unkuhime. I've heard about you. You're super talented, right? I bet you're going to be fun to play with. I know why you're here, too. You want bravery to help so you can quell Avalog's friendly, don't you? Well, you'll get it if you can catch me first. Let's go, bravery. Wait, so we have to cat literally catch her? Catch up the zombie? Where, where, where is she? Oh. So f- Ah, crap. I keep doing that. Have I really? Oh, k u h i m e Oh, she's cute. You made it all the way up here in this cold, but the question is did you catch me or did I let myself get caught? Hmm. Oh, and one more thing. Am I even really clairvoyant? No idea. No one but me could really know, right? Anyway, the challenge continues. The next stop of our merry chase is Snow Point Temple. But the real question is here am I really having fun playing with you or am I bored? Hmm. Let's go, bravery! <laughs> She's cute. Uh, Clover? Uh. Oh, so the Pearl Clan lives here, huh? Hey, I didn't know that. Funny how the diamond man has to protect the lord, then. Entrance to this place. 
Oh, there it is. Hi again, Unko Hime. It's nice having someone new out here to play with, safety in numbers or something like that. Anyway, here's Snow Point Temple. I've opened the front door for you, just a little more chasing left for you to do. But the real question here is, am I really having fun playing with you, or am I bored? Hmm. I heard what Warden Sabi said. If you have Warden Sabi's approval to enter, then all by all means do so. But we warned. Uh, but be warned, those who cannot solve the temple's puzzles won't get any far within. I've heard that the trick is to pay attention to which way the stone statues are looking. Come to think of it, I believe the statues have some sort of pattern on their chest too. Hey. Wait, there's Pokemon here? Oh shit, there is Pokemon here. There are three panels uh, fitted into the door. Each panel has a pattern carved into it. There are faint traces of word carved on the door as well. Uh, Whittier the, the statue, which panel will you press first? There you go. Guessing works. don't know. Hold on. Uh, hmm. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. This is going to take a while, guys. I don't feel like looking for this either. <laughs> Oh crap, I got it right. <laughs> nice. And one last one. I don't know. Mm, I'm just going to guess again. I, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know, man. Oh, shit, no way. <laughs> All right. All right, let's, let's keep going.
I don't want to deal with you right now, unfortunately. I guess I've been caught, so we're nearly done. That's no fun. Hey, remember my clairvoyant? It showed me something else. I saw you flying with bravery. Do you think that'll come to pass? That's not clairvoyant at all, because you're, you're just going to give it to me. Well, however, the future turns out flying with bravery isn't easy. If you really want to be able to fly high in the sky, prove to me you're strong enough. My Pokemon aren't healed. Going to take us on? Hang on. You got cold feet now after chasing me all the way here? No, I just want to heal my Pokemon so it can be a fair fight. So I'm going to go ahead and assume she has flying Pokemon. Wait, can I, can I move them? Okay, there you go. Now let's fight. Okay, completely wrong. Not, not flying at all. Oh god. But why, why did Typhlosion come out first? Oh well, whatever. Oh, because of the Pokemon I first picked? Oh, whatever. What is this? Her Pokemon are insane! She's cute, but she has freaking crazy Pokemon! The game is fun. I, I like it. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I like how, like, Floatzel just turned around, hey, you gonna attack me or what? Your turn to attack. Oh, God. Poison? What the hell? I, I, I guess that makes sense. Oh my goodness. This sucks. Wow, you caught 
us and you beat us. You've won all our games so far. But Bravery still wants to get to know you even better. Up to, up to the roof we go. Alright, Bravery, why not test out Unkuhime's strength for yourself? Wait, do I have to fight Bravery? Wait, what? I have to fight him? I was not prepared for this. I was... I... 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 What? what? I can't believe Brave you lost, but that's that. Thanks for playing with me. I guess I'll head home now. Bye. Wait, what? <laughs> I was kidding. Play along with me on your flute. Sure, having Unkuhime to fly around with should be fun for bravery. Yeah, I'm glad. A world where people and Pokemon live and work together, huh? Tell me, why do you think that lightning that comes from the rift would cause these frenzies? Do you think this almighty, this is Almighty Snow's anger, or do you think this is a trial it's putting to us? If it's a trial, if if we prove ourselves worthy and we quell the last noble calm. Avog, then the rift really ought to close, right? Even if the one who seems to be clearing this trial is a newcomer like you, no, not one of us who've been living here in Hisuyo for ages now. How come you're playing all wise? I thought you weren't a big thinker, Adamant. Hush, Subby. I can feel history on the move. And as far as I can see, the one ushering in this new era is you. So if I stick with you someday, I might get to meet Almighty Sino myself. The question is, does listening to Adman fascinate you or bore you to tears? Hmm. Anyway, Unkuhime, it's time for you to go soar with Bravery. If you jump from way up here, Bravery can take you gliding just about anywhere. But don't forget to get the Eternal Eyes. That's why you need needed Bravery in the first place, right? Alright. Avlog's Legacy is down there. Oh, okay. Now go get a feel for flying with bravery. When you're done exploring the sky and want to land, just ask him to dive. Cool. Ah, oh, so cool. That is so cool. All right, so. Uh. How, where do I, I just go there, okay. But I need to heal my Pokemon though. Oh, okay, that's how I glide down, okay. This is scary as hell, what the hell? <laughs>
So one more. Oh. So I need to grab this. Okay. Your arc phone is beeping. Oh, that's. It's been a while. You obtain a piece of eternal ice. Whoa, ha, ha. Whoa, how'd you get here? At last, the summit is conquered. And I see you made it too. Oh, he climbed it. Flew down to this place and obtained the eternal ice. Did you? What drives that burning zeal of yours, I wonder? You gave Gary the eternal ice. I do have respect the effort you put in. I may still have my own doubts weighing on my mind, but I will make the necessary preparations so that you can face my lord Avlog. Meet me at Ice Peak Arena. Now, don't try to repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform, and a tall leap like this can only manage by highly toned bodies like mine. Till the next we meet. <laughs> Alright, so I need to go heal my Pokemon first. Wow, let me heal my Pokemon first. How do I go higher? I guess I can't. Alright, whatever. It's fine. Electro Buzz? Wait, how, how? Whatever. Why, if it is in Ukuhime, what a pleasure finding a familiar face or any face in the far corner of Albesta Icelands. I came to bring Garrick in order of sword caps, and he was more than willing to have a chat about Avlog. What do you say, interested in a bit of gossip? Absolutely. And why wouldn't you be? So Avlog, yes, the fifth of Hisui's nobles. That he is, and you know what? He's an absolute beast. Well, yes, according to what I was told, not only does he barrage you with chunks of ice, he also fires a massive icicle, then he can cause sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Doesn't that seem a bit powerful to take on? What's more, appar uh, what's more apparently the Avalog of old could be up to 100 feet tall. Doesn't that seem a bit too big to take on? Oh, you'll be alright. You just have to eat some sword caps and give your training your all. Nothing better for building muscles than that. Onward now to the arena. Yes, well, I did want to see the Avlog, but perhaps not at the cost of my life. So I suppose my freezing digits and I will be off. How do you guys get in contact with each other in the first place? <laughs> Whoa, my champ. So we are to quote Avalog as you wish. In the end, the strength of your feeling went out. Or maybe your real strength comes from the way that you walk among both people and Pokemon. Well, I suppose I'd better get to work making some bombs using the eternal ice. I've heard how they are made, and with muscles like mine, it'll be only a moment's work. <laughs> and there you have it. If you truly wish to quote Avlog, then walk on the path lies before you. But know that Avlog will hurl chunks of ice at you without relent. Uh, you'll need unrivaled dodging ability. Well, this is pretty cool. Oh my goodness, that thing is freaking huge. What the hell?
Wait, can I not jump off? Oh, I can't jump off? Oh, okay. Are, you sure, are, are we sure this is Pokemon? This is like completely different from a Pokemon game. <laughs> yeah, ice. Oh my god, this guy does everything. so quickly. Oh, that still hurts me if they're on the ground. What the hell? How am I supposed to dodge this? Well, Earth Power works on Haunter? I didn't know that.
You received the icicle plate from Avlog. Garrick, sir, you, you need to look quite so downcast. But but seeing mighty Avlog quelled and by such a slight child, a child that fell from the very sky, is this Ukuhima girl some kind of monster in disguise? She is no monster. She is the one who risked her life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzy suffering nobles. Ukuhime. Garrick cares for the Pearl Clan with all his heart and believes in all minds to know just as deeply. So he has feared more than any of us that getting involved with Diamond Clan and your galaxy team could cause our people to flag in their devotion to all mason no but that will change Erida? i know your fears will change once you see what i've seen Ukuhima has much to teach us she's shown us how to come overcome all matter of strife so long other pokemon are with us she's made me want to help glaceon realize greater strength as well and see why my uh my whole world grow broader it seems you've already changed Erida. I knew you could pull off that, pull that off, Unkohime. You called every last friendly noble. So is that space timer going to start closing up, or now, or now, or what? There's little way of knowing for sure, though. The rift does seem perhaps a little smaller somehow. Let's hope so, anyway. Well, with any luck, things will settle down now. Although, even if the rift does start spitting out more of the strange lightning, we should still be all right as long as the view we got, Unkohime. Indeed, we should be. It's good to have her out on our side. You know something, Irida? We may never agree on who's got it right about all my yes and no, but you pro clan folk aren't all bad in my book. Looks who's finally seen, or seen reason. <laughs> anyway, now that we've called the last noble, I say we... Pay Grim Old Commander Kamado a visit and see if he'll find a cracker smile for us. What was that? <laughs> Alright. You managed to call Lord Avalog. Fantastic stuff as always. I'm sure the commander is eagerly awaiting your report to the village. Before we go in there, let me talk to you. You have a request. Now, before you buy a weed tree, lend me your ear a moment, would you, lad? I came up with a new tree uh, using candle truffles, but it caused me nothing but sorrow. Every last person who tried to save it beyond saving, a complete disaster, utterly terrible. I've had a shell of this crew creation, new creation, and there is remained a salty puddle of bitter tears. It'll likely never see the light of the day again. It seems like I'll never be able to pull a profit from my creation, but I'd like, at least like you to share my recipe with someone, at least it preferred entirely. You like making things with your own hands, don't you? I could share my recipe with you. I've got plenty of candy truffles to spare, but you'll need to bring soot fruit root and a springy mushroom and a hopelberry. Got that? Alright. Let's go to the commander. What's going on over here? Oh, more side quests. Oh, uh, uh, a, a security courts fellow from Alola has several Vulpix, but he calls them Kyo Kyo. Track him down and see what his request entails. So white. Oh wow! So a snow Vulpix is here. Nice, nice. I need to. I need to find him. I need to get that snow Vulpix. Each of the, uh, the Pokemon that will became friendly, and now each of them has quelled. 
We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see you put it to an end. And to think peace would restore to Hisui by the hand of the mysterious Riftborn helper. When tomorrow dawned, it will dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. Go nourish yourself at the Wallflower and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget the survey course work is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in Hisui without fearing the Pokemon around us. That's, that's a long time. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. He only sells the mochi, man. Like, that's all we eat, dude. Now that Avalok's quilled too, we can survey all over Hisui. I certainly had my reservations as to whether Avalok needed quelling, but if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. I hate to think what kind of havoc the, the friendly nobles could have wrecked it if Unkohime never came to us. Still, even with all the nobles quelled, the rift doesn't seem to be closing, huh? Although, wait, if the rift were to disappear, would that mean Unkohime would be stuck here? Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I have no doubt. And even if we don't, you'll always have a home here in Jubilee Village, Yukuhime. Now then, tomorrow is soon upon us, and it'll be another hard day at work for the Survey Corps. Don't forget what we've got our sights on. Nothing less than a completed Pokedex. With you around, the Pokedex is as good as complete. Hey, how about I just tag along as your assistant? Assistant, come now, Ray. Don't sell yourself short. You're a full-fledged member of the Survey Corps, too. Well, sure, I guess I am. In any case, time for a hearty meal and a heavy sleep. Are you liking the spiking difficulty in this game? It's it's pretty it's pretty hard, but I mean, at the same time, uh, if you get used to it, it's not that not that bad. Just gotta level up my Pokemon more. Bakun. What was that? Oh wow, okay. What is going on? This doesn't look good in Kuhime. It got bigger. Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rift in space and time. Now the entire sky has gone red. I have word from the commander. You are to report to his office at once. Hmm. The way the sky has changed, it is ominous. Very ominous indeed. What is this, what's this about, commander? You did call us here to discuss the calling of all the nobles, didn't you? That can wait. There is more pressing concern here that must be addressed. The first strike of the strange lightning, the one that drove Claver into a frenzy, it struck that night that Unkohima fell from the sky did not. Well, it only it only seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Who or what are you really, Unkohime? What the f you ask that question now? Indeed. You came from the rift, and as did the lightning. You're connected to the frenzy, are you not? Do you think to gain our trust by calling the frenzy you yourself brought about? Wow, this guy. This guy. This guy's a hypocrite. F him. And having gained trust in what then? What is you? What are you really after? Hold on, Commander. There is nothing to suggest Inquiry has wronged us. Exactly. And besides, do you really think she's got that sort of fearsome power? It, I, it take 
to make all this happen? Let me ask you, in turn, can you prove beyond a doubt that she is free from guilt? This person, this stranger, appeared out of the rift in space and time. Man, you wanted me to gain everyone's trust, and now you're against me? Wow, this guy. But that's no no one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove that absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Unglumi supposed to do then? She will be given the chance to investigate the latest disaster, but not as a member of the Galaxy team. She remains a suspect unless she can clear her name. There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you fell from the sky. You you trusted me, now you don't trust me. Wow. Dude, this guy, this guy sucks. How can you act so heartless? Don't you, don't you believe in Unkuhime? Do not attempt to intervene on our behalf. I will do what I must as the commander of the Galaxy Exhibition Team. But I have not forgotten your deeds, nor the you, unusual skill you have displayed. This is why I have chosen to let you walk out of here free rather than clap in chains. This guy's a douchebag. You are to be expelled from the village? Seriously? Order their orders. Let's go. I helped all of you. I helped all of you. I helped you too. I didn't do anything. Who the hell are you? I helped you too. I can't believe the boss would do this. You called all those noble friends under his own orders. Quite right. Moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn in red. This is utterly intolerable, and I might add, insufficient. As a man of science, I must fight such illogical thinking, tooth and nail. You must not. You will only cause Ugly him more pain if you are driven out as well for defending her. However, there are others who might offer help. You've been an aide to both the Diamond Clan and Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Adam and Erida might take you in. Though I'm afraid they're both already returned to their respective settlements. I bet you could at least start by finding Leanne at Grand Tree Arena. I'm not sure where might be if you want the Diamond Clan. Don't die alone out there. That's an order. I will ensure you have all, my, all you need to complete the survey the commander has tasked you with. If I might offer my advice. In this life, you will you will meet with both admiration of, and abuse from others. How others choose to view you is a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. All that truly matters is that you hold firm to your own values. What of what of the dream I first shared with you on Prelude Beach to complete the Pokédex? That dream simply won't come true without you. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, then. Um, I guess we have to seek the end, but I guess we'll go ahead and end the stream here. Uh, I'll definitely stream some more later tonight, so thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters.